Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I wanted to take a look at Apple's new business chat feature. So essentially it lets uh, companies create a uh, iMessage kind of presence so that instead of having to communicate over, you know, email or, uh, you know, a like a uh, specialized communication app uh, between your customers, you can use Apple's uh, you know, infamous iMessage, uh, which everyone trusts, it's secure, uh, it has end-to-end -end encryption, and pretty much one of the most loved uh, messaging apps around. Uh, it's probably one of the things that keeps iPhone users using iPhone, and one of the things that makes Android users switch to iPhone. So it's a pretty cool feature, and I wanted to check it out. Uh, I haven't seen too many apps uh, kind of advertising that they're using this. Uh, on the web, I saw something about a 1-800 flowers and obviously the Apple stores use it. So I figured we'd go through both of these and just kind of see what the differences are and what the features kind of look like. So right now I'm on my Mac and then we'll also kind of check it out on the iPhone side, see how it comes up. So here I'm just gonna search for uh, Apple Store in New Haven. All right, we've got one here. Set the info button here. So I'm in the Maps app now. So of course we've got like Yelp reviews and that kind of stuff. And then you can call, website, share, and favorite. And this new option here is to chat. So let's open it up and see what it'll do. Okay, so here, we're here with Apple. Usually it responds within one minute. I'll say, hi. So cool. I can chat with the Apple Store. Now I wonder if this is chatting with the Apple Store directly or if this is chatting with you know like a corporate rep that then connects you to the store once they get enough information. Same thing you would kind of get while you're on the phone. Hello, I'm an automated assistant. I can help you do all of the following and more. Get product support, make a purchase, check order status, connect with a live agent for the location of an Apple store in your area, please tap on the link below. Okay, so this is automated. Uh, it is pretty cool because it gives you kind of like a header that looks like Apple and that kind of stuff. So that's pretty neat. So uh, automated system, not uh, actual person on the other end. But depending on the company, you know, if it's a smaller company with fewer people, you know, bombarding them with questions, then maybe they'll actually have a live person. I really like this concept because there are a lot of websites that have this, uh, you know, chat feature built into the web browser, and you're not really comfortable with it. I feel like if companies were using iMessage to chat with you, it'd be a little bit uh, more, I don't know, just kind of user friendly, or maybe more trustworthy. I don't know if that's a, actually a good thing because I'm, you know, you don't really want to be trusting a company just based on the app that they're using. And I wonder if there's like a vetting process that Apple uses, um, but I'm sure more and more information on this will kind of come out as more and more companies become, uh, I guess, more adept to it and more, you know, welcoming to this kind of feature. So there's also an about section here, uh, from Apple, so we can let me read through that and kind of get some basic info that they give us. Uh, you can use business chat to interact with Apple and other businesses in the Messages app, including making payments using Apple Pay. Business chats have a great background to distinguish them from iMessages and standard SMSs. Business chats are encrypted between your device and Apple servers and when Apple transmits them to the business. So just to analyze that, uh, like a green chat obviously comes up if you're chatting with like an Android user or somebody who has a Windows phone, uh, the messages are sent between uh, SMS. So uh, it's basically a, uh, it goes over the cellular network or not really cellular network, but essentially it doesn't go against your data plan when you do that. An iMessage comes up blue. Uh, an iMessage technically goes against your data limit. Uh, so the, these business chats, they're gray, but whether or not it's like an SMS or an iMessage, not so clear, but most likely it's probably gonna be, maybe it's gonna be uh, an SMS. 
then how would they be communicating? So does like the business owner have to have a, an iPhone or a Mac to utilize the service? Anyway, I guess that'll all be kind of explained when you're enrolling to the service. Uh, businesses cannot start a, a business chat conversation with you. Only you can. <clears throat> if you no longer want to receive messages from a particular business, you can delete the conversation. Once you delete a conversation, that business can no longer communicate with you over business chat, unless you start a new conversation with them. When you chat with Apple, Apple will receive a business chat ID associated with your Apple ID. This information may be used to support your interaction with Apple. So when you're chatting with Apple, it's a little different than when the businesses are chatting, uh, which is uh, interesting how they separate themselves from the world, but I guess acceptable. Uh, and they use your Apple ID. So I wonder what if you're using iMessage, but you don't have an Apple ID? Does that mean you have to be signed into iMessage in order to use Apple ID? In order to you, uh, do you have to be signed in with your Apple ID in order to use business chat? Interesting. When you chat with other business, when you chat with other businesses, they are provided a session identifier. Other businesses may also receive limited additional information. For example, if you search in Maps for a bank and start a business chat. The business may be informed which branch you chose. This information, when held by that business, as well as other information you provide to a business, is governed by their privacy policies. We encourage you to learn about the terms, privacy policies, and practices of businesses you chat with to understand how they use and share this information. So there is, uh, Apple sends out a limited amount of information, but they don't guarantee that the companies that uh, are you know, receiving this information are not storing it and doing that sort of crazy nonsense with it. All right, so uh, business chats, including the message content, may be used by Apple to improve the service, fulfill your requests, provide the relevant product or service, troubleshoot or prevent fraud. Interesting. So unlike iMessages that you have between your friends and family and, and coworkers, and also uh, SMSs, of course, business chats can actually be viewed by Apple. They will, uh, you know, use them to improve their services and attempt to prevent fraud, uh, which is good because I can already foresee, uh, you know, if this service is readily available to any business, uh, if you're like doing business with someone on eBay or if you're doing with business on someone with, uh, let's say, AliExpress or Alibaba, a lot of these uh, Chinese websites and Chinese companies have slightly, uh, you know, unethical business practices. So uh, it's good that they're going to be keeping an eye on this. But uh, I know for one, I would definitely use it. Let me know what you guys think. This is kind of one of those things where, you know, it's either you like it or you don't. And then especially if you're not an iPhone user, you know, what are you going to do? If you're an Android, you're going to have to resort to the old traditional methods of calling and chatting like on websites. I definitely think this is a step in the right direction and it's a pretty, uh, pretty awesome feature. Uh, so let's see if we can pull up 1-800-Flowers and see what their interface looks like. I tried all these others like Subway Restaurant, Staples, Best Buy to see if any of these people already used it. So far, not that many. 1-800-Flowers. <laughs> all right, so we got one location here in New York. Let's hit info. And they do have a message. Okay, let's see. Hello. Is it too early? to buy flowers for Valentine's Day. Don't auto correct me yet, damn it. 2019. And you also get the header here, so that's pretty neat. Hi there, thank you for messaging us. This is an automated message because you reached us outside of our business hours. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. if you need immediate assistance calls. Okay, so essentially, you guys kind of get the drift of what this is. Uh, it just lets people, companies and tech support and just, you know, support lines 
and you know information lines from companies to communicate with you directly through uh, iMessage. And I think it's well worth it. I think it's great because sometimes you, you're in a chat with a company and you gotta go and you're stuck at your computer because you have to type to them. This way, you know, iMessage works on your phone and on your on your Mac and iPad. So I think that's pretty awesome. Let's see what it actually looks like uh on the iphone so let me see if i can bring this screen up here i think i might have to open up air server to get my iphone up to you guys Let's see if we can do that let me minimize these first get them out of the way since i started the message on my iphone i'm wondering if it will be available immediately on my iphone and by the way, this is Air Server. Uh, essentially, it's an app that lets you screencast your iPhone or iPad screen onto your Mac. Really useful uh, for you know a lot of applications, but this is probably one of my favorite. Okay, let's see if we can get in on here. Okay, Air Server's here. It's running. Let's see if I can broadcast this out to you guys okay that's the code all right looks good so it actually went full screen automatically that doesn't matter i think that works for us anyway all right so if i go to the messages app you'll see that 1-800 flowers and apple are essentially uh they have like these little verify check marks like you would see on twitter that's pretty neat uh, so flowers, 1-800-Flowers, once again, that you have the kind of uh, header there that represents their kind of logo colors. Let's see what the Apple one looks like. And the Apple one also represents their colors. So that's cool. I wonder, it's, 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 it's actually a great feature. I'm curious to see if the vetting process is strict or not. So let's say if like, if you're, you know, a, a huge company, they're obviously you're going to get in, you're going to be able to do it. But what if you're a mom and pop shop that wants to have, you know, a chat or kind of interface through iMessage? Uh, are they going to, you know, decline it? What kind of a vetting process are you going to have to go through? So it's going to be interesting to see how those things develop. But in any case, uh, that wraps it up for today. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.